Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on this video in a time like this. I appreciate you. I don't know why you're drawn to the page, but thank you so much for being here. You're supposed to be here. And for the rest of Kel's crew, hey guys, I know it's been a while. A lot has been going on. I'm sure you know the world is upside down. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I kind of jump from subject to subject because, you know, even though I wrote the notes down, it just kind of came out and it's a little bit sporadic on the subjects, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing, what uh, has happened and how I feel. So uh, just a little bit of a get ready with me kind of laid back and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. face I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP black brown um, so I've used this before I think I've reviewed it actually and I just haven't purchased it again um, because you know I use other brow products but there's nothing wrong with this brow pencil it's really really fine and it does its job you know and I can't really do this on camera I just can't talk and do my brows on camera so I just am going to be brushing these up and not talking through. I just can't talk and do my brows. They will come out super uneven, okay? All right, so honestly, I don't even know if I'm in the center or not. I'm trying. It feels very weird sitting down and even filming. I haven't worn makeup in almost, I would say two weeks. Just a lot has been going on. Plan is still overheating, ice caps still melting, forest fires, tornadoes, hurricanes every two days. Earth stank, I drove away so quick. Basically there's an entire civil rights movement happening still this day. So the brows are all done. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Fenty Beauty. This is what it do. I've been wanting to try this spray y'all for so long, ever since it launched and then like sold out in Sephora.com and I never got it. So I, I finally got it. We're gonna see what it's all about, all right? And I'm just gonna spritz this on my face to refresh it and wake it up for my moisturizer and primer. Oh my, oh my gosh. It is like a micro, micro fine mist. It's, a lighter mist than the Morphe setting spray. It's a very, very soothing rush of coolness on your face. Very, very fine. It doesn't even feel wet. Um, so this is definitely going to be, this is definitely different than any other of your refresher sprays or anything like that because the spray is so light that it doesn't even feel like anything is touching your face. So we all know Fenty Skin is not out yet, so I'm using um, a moisturizer that is not from Fenty Beauty. This, this is my Fresh Nectar Moisture Glow, and it's like has a vitamin C properties in it, and it's just a very, um, not too thick of a cream, but it's a really good moisturizer that I use for the daytime. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my face to moisturize. Really, really been liking this moisturizer. Uh, as you see, you guys, I got my lashes done, actually. Um, I just wanted to try something new. All right, so I'm going to be taking the very first filter, the very first primer that Fenty ever came out with. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And I just, I've always loved this primer, y'all. It has SPF in it and it just really does create a bomb barrier for y'all. I've gone through about two of these for every skin type, honestly. Dry, combination, oily. Just want to take your time and press it in. Not really rub it in like a moisturizer. I always say this. But yeah guys, so a lot has been going on as you guys can see and I thought that I wanted this video to be like a really really in-depth even like kind of political video but on Instagram the other day all I did was post a fact about the Democratic Party and immediately I started getting DMs like oh my god if you're a Trump supporter uh, you don't oh my god if you're a Trump supporter uh, I can't get with that this isn't that what's wrong with you you're a Trump supporter like where did I say that I was a Trump supporter why are y'all reaching 
reaching, reaching for the stars, don't get a cramp in your arm. Like, I never said anything about supporting Trump. Everyone is basing everything off of emotion at the moment. Everyone is on edge. People have PTSD. Some people have been assaulted by cops. You know what I mean? So everybody's looking for a reason to call somebody out and to fault them for something that they're not doing. When in reality, if I supported Trump, which I don't, I would be open and, and tell you. And right now really isn't the time to be condemning people for things that you're creating in your own mind. Now, with that being said, I have unfollowed so many people on social media. I know y'all saw that girl, all these people, all these people, these uber influencers who are clout chasing, like taking pictures by, you know, protests and just trying to get their little, and trying to get their promo in or just trying to be at the scene of the action for an aesthetic on their feed, which is so disgusting. You know why? Because I'm a black woman. I have black family members. I mean, this is really what we're fighting for. This is really our lives. It's not a fucking joke. Excuse my French, but how shallow has this generation become? I've already known that the generation is shallow. I mean, I've already known. I already know that the uber influencer that you stand and, and you watch and you do and you support is going to turn on you as soon as they get their first pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. And then they're above here and you're down here. So I already knew the generation was shallow. But just seeing what the hell we're going on, it has like opened my eyes up to a whole different level of shallowness. And it's like, who the hell is raising you? Oh, the internet. Now, so that's one negative side. See, one of these lashes are already coming off. Oh my God. This is why I don't really mess with lash extensions. They're always falling out at inconvenient ass times. And it's still there. Oh my God. My lighting is probably off. I don't know. I'm like... I've said this already, but like I really am kind of out of it and I apologize if my energy isn't what it usually is, but it's kind of like PTSD over the last 10, 11 days, like a lot of BS has been happening and I even kind of feel selfish even coming in here, but like I took a poll and everyone on Instagram wanted me to come in here and just talk a little bit about what I'm feeling and like my views on things, so that's why I'm doing it. I don't want to be tone deaf in any way. I mean, I am black, right? All right. So um, I went ahead and picked up this Pro Filter. I've already been using Pro Filter ever since it's launched, but I picked up 385 now um, because it is when it is winter. It is summer. I've been in the sun on purpose, and I am darker. So I picked up a half a shade darker. As we know, Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty foundations oxidize a little bit. So we're just gonna put a little bit on the plate and work it into our face. Um, and I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation Brush 110 and I love this. Just pick up some of that there. So, yeah. There's so many conspiracy theories out here about everything that's going on. There's so many opinions based off emotions. And I'm just finding that people like to run with the narrative that they've already preset in their mind. So regardless if it is real or fake, they're just gonna post it and they're gonna stand on that. And if you don't agree with that, you're a coon. Or, you know, this isn't that. Everything has just been getting thrown out. It's a very touchy time. Like people do, everybody handles stress and traumatic experiences different. So to try to group someone into something that you think that they should do doing might not possibly be the way that that's how they deal with their trauma. So with that being said, this has been going on for a while. Everybody's really had their eyes out with uh, brands and people that they follow, primarily non people of color, who they follow, who they support, just to see like where they stood, you know, to see if they were on our side, if they had any type of sympathy or remorse to what they, we all, the entire world was uh, witnessing. And um, a lot of them stepped up, right? A lot, I don't know if this is my color. Maybe a little oxidized, I don't know. It looks a little bit olive. 
a lot of them like stood up, right? A lot of them stood up and a lot of them did not. Or in my case, I sat back and observed everyone just, to, you know, watching people's stories who I don't usually watch, taking notes, being quiet, just to see if they would take an initiative to speak out, to acknowledge the injustices that were happening. And a lot of people literally didn't say anything until Makeup Shayla, Jackie Ina, or Desi Perkins gave them the green light to say something. And I know y'all are followers, and this is no shade, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know y'all are followers, but damn, do you have your own mind? You had to wait until Desi Perkins says something, then it's okay for non-people, non-black people to speak on the issue? That shows me that you're spineless, you're scared, and I can't support you. I'm not, I wasn't even looking for like an, an unpost, uh, fee, something on the fee, right? Someone with a heart, someone with empathy, someone who values black people or sees injustice regardless if the person was Asian they're fucking getting murdered in front of the entire world right someone with a heart someone who I would look up to invest my time my energy and money into didn't say anything until these mega figures stepped in and finally said something that's really what kind of like pissed me off and I, I literally went on another big unfollowing spree y'all know I'm big on unfollowing and I understand if you spoke out after it was okay to speak out, but that I still don't rock and can't rock with you because you're just following the trend. That is what following the trend is. Oh, Desi said that it was okay. Oh, Shayla or Jackie, I just spoke on it, so it's okay for me to stand up and say something now. No, you should have been said something when you first seen it. You should have been said something. Been said something. You're going, you're looking for an okay. You're not a leader. You're a follower. And you're not really representative of you're not really down for the black lives matter you're down for the aesthetic you don't want to lose customers you don't want to lose uh, your following or clout you know like stay over there with that i hope you know so yeah i just observed people for like five days to see if they said anything a lot of people didn't it's unfortunate a lot of the local people in vegas who i liked i had to unfollow because it be when it became trendy, that's when they picked up on it. But when it wasn't trendy and you still knew what was going on in depth, you didn't say anything. And that speaks volumes to me and that's that's how it is. I'm gonna keep it a buck, so yeah. Also for companies, I had already started unfollowing a lot of makeup companies on Instagram anyways, because no matter what, even if they have the colors, the color shades and makeup or whatever, they're still not posting women of color. They're not, they just are not posting darker women of color. They want to pass a, a light-skinned woman off as, as they want to occupy. They want to have a light-skinned woman occupy the space for a black woman, so they don't have to put a darker face in there. And it just doesn't matter. It's like a sprinkle. You have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm not giving these companies my money anymore. Period. After this whole movement has happened, so many uh, black-owned companies have been brought to light. So many clothing companies, designer companies, makeup brands, all of this has come to light that I've never even seen before. Do you think I'm gonna go back and support so-and-so who just thinks that I'm, I'm worth a campaign? Well, we, we need her because she has dark skin. We'll put her in there to show her the product off, but other than that, you're not gonna get any shine. Do you think I'm really gonna give my fucking hard money earned dollars? Do you, when I could go and get, reinvest it back into the black, black, into a black person's pocket? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm fucking not, no. So, it is what it is, and I, I really hope people will wake up. We've been like begging, not even begging, we've just been like trying to draw attention to like, oh, you guys need to represent more people. And I read somewhere, it's like, if you're not being progressive with the way that the world is going, you're behind. You're not a progressive brand if you're just continuously charged showing bl white women Appealing to the white culture, creating these fucking blushes that don't fit dark skin, taking dark skin women on brand trips, that the product doesn't even fit them. That's like clownery. It's ridiculous. And I'm ready for change. I'm standing for change and I'm looking primarily for black owned companies because I'm sick of effing tired. tired. So now I'm gonna pick up my cream, the, the new cream bronzer by Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade chocolate. 
and we're gonna go ahead and start sculpting out. So yeah, that was something that perturbed me and I just felt like maybe I was giving too much energy to it. This is really, really dark, y'all. Like really dark, but I figured out how to work with it and I'm gonna show you right now, so. So I literally didn't realize how damn dark this was until like I used one of these, but I'm gonna show you uh, I'm going to show you how to make it work, right? Because I know every Sephora isn't back open and it's a lot to return stuff. And I know that I did a review on this and I raved about it, but like using this cream contour so many times is way too muddy. It's way too muddy for my complexion. And then the other one is way too light. So there's like no in between. So I'm not like a believer in returning products unless I absolutely, absolutely have to. I like to learn how to work with the product and you know, make it do what it do. So I'm gonna show you how I've been using this. So now I'm just gonna pick up a fluffy brush and start buffing this up, blending it in. You definitely have to really, really work this in with a brush, I'm telling you. And continue on this side, buffing up. Close your doors. I know it looks like a lot. I know it looks like a lot, but trust me. Just trust me, okay? All right, so we're buffed out. And that wasn't that much work, right? So you just take it, you apply it on kind of heavy, and then you gotta brush it, buff it out with the smaller brush. I'm not talking about a big brush. You see, this is a small, detailed, little, this is just a regular blending Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And I just buff it out, and I have like a shadow. And I just wanna say I do have clothes on, okay? Don't come for me. So I feel like, you know, uh, I was giving a lot of energy and like dissecting and figuring out who supports black people really and who doesn't. And it got exhausting. I like got exhausted one day. It took like a five hour nap. It's mental exhaustion, you know, just everything coming from everywhere. And it's a lot. And it's also hard to take a step back because it's like, how do I make a change? Like I gotta sign these petitions. I gotta be updated on these cases. What is going on, right? So these are the Pro Filter concealers. I've tried uh, the 370, but I got 360 today. And I'm just gonna start building up those. So I put down 370 to sculpt stuff out. So I sculpt my nose out with that and then I put this on my lid to create a base and then the outer part. And now I'll be taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer Brush 180, and I haven't tried this before, um, but I know that Fenty Beauty brushes are so good, I have a few of them. So I'm gonna use this to blend out. As you can see, it is at an angle. So that will really control where I'm blending everything out at. So yeah, it's been a very tough week. And aside from that, um, I did see a lot of people go above and beyond what I would have even expected from them. I do feel that some of these conspiracy theories, one that I agree with is that a race war is trying to be started and I agree. And it's not just, you know, white versus black. This is, I'm talking about people of color. Base, I'm talking about black people basically against everybody. I've seen racist things from Middle Eastern people, I've seen racist things from Asian people, Mexican people, a lot of Mexican people really are just, they're like, they wouldn't stand with us when we're in cages, why would we stand with them now? And it's just like, I've seen so many people donate. Everyone was just grossly disgusted by the children in cages and the people being deported by ICE. I remember that uproar. I just don't understand where the logic is in that, that Black people don't care about anybody but themselves. That's not true. Black people have been fighting a war for years and it's a boiling point. We're sick of seeing people getting, black people getting murdered on TV. It's 
it's just like at a point enough is enough it's like human right issues it's not a black and white issue it's that why just because they're black that the freaking police officers aren't arrested like, like that's the issue right that's the issue why is it because the man is black the woman is black that they can get away with murder that's not okay it's not okay for any race it's not okay for a police officer to fucking murk people and go back to work the next day to do it again. And if the, if you can't see that, then there really is something wrong with you. And I really suggest you move to Mars because we don't want that type of scum on the planet, man. Black people definitely get the fucking back end of stuff and we know why. This country was never built for us. We came here as slaves and some of the indigenous people who are already here were made to be slaves. So let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. No matter how many times we see it in the press, we have not become desensitized. Even if you have become desensitized, it's scary as hell to have kids. My kids are mixed, but even though they're mixed, their mom is black and they will never pass as white. So in conclusion, they can pass as mixed or they will be black. Like that's just the bottom of it. And I mean, Tamir Rice, he was a light skinned black kid. He still got killed. So it doesn't matter if you're light skinned or not, if you're black or if you have a little bit of black in you, you are in danger. I mean, everybody kind of at this point is in danger from the police. I mean, have you been seeing what they're doing to the people in the protests? That old white guy who they literally pushed over and cracked his skull. So I ran out of time on the last one, but now I'm picking up 360. And right here is where I like to put the lighter concealer. Just to give the, uh, just to, you know, pinpoint uh, my Tin Man and right in between here is where I like to put the lighter. But yeah, what was I even talking about? Oh my god, I feel like I'm going so left. I literally sat down and wrote everything out and knew what I was going to say, but then I get on here in front of the camera and it's just like a ball of emotion. So please excuse me if I'm like a little bit over the place. It's been crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, protesters looting. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Black people were standing up for, you know, when ICE was coming after the, our freaking Hispanic Mexican brothers and sisters. That wasn't right. It shouldn't be like a color issue. It should really be human rights. What's right and what's wrong? It's not right. It's not right. And just so many supporters of this particular person were just like, oh, it's fine. They shouldn't be in this country then. It's just like, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just hypocritical to the T and it's gross. And feel free, like if you support our tr Trump, if you support our president who made the quote, when the looting start, the shooting starts, this really isn't a space for you at all. And that is not me insulting you because I'm really trying to protect my energy. It's just, this isn't a space for you. I'm not with that. I'm not with the shits. You can unsubscribe right now. That was one of the reasons why I left my old job. Because I looked at my boss's Instagram and he was following Trump. Says a lot about your leader, right? No wonder I never got that raise. By the way, I have yet again figured out how to come to my nose to make it look like I really have a nose job. And I think I'm gonna record a video on it because my nose be looking snatched now. A snickety snatch. Not that I don't like the nose God gave me. I don't know if you guys know, but my dad also died <laughs> this year. So my real dad, and uh, I never really knew him that much, but I have his nose. That's the only thing I have of him. So I'll never get my nose done. I will say this is the first time since getting my lashes done that I'm putting makeup on. And it's not easy, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set the powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty, this is Cashew. I haven't tried Cashew yet, I tried Honey, but I found that Honey was way too like close to the color of my skin, and it just wasn't highlighting, it just looked like my skin. So I got Cashew, which is the, so I got Cashew, which is the shade, uh, one shade lighter, and this is like a peachier, I wanna say. Reblend that translucent, but like a peachier setting powder. And I really love the Fenty Beauty powders because it just really, really just takes all the moisture out and keeps you matte and does not 
give you the creasy under eye. So if you haven't tried it, I'd suggest you try it. You can get one, one of these in a mini. They sell them in minis too. Or if your Sephora is open, go get a sample. It's really good. This, I feel like this setting powder like has a red undertone and that, I've never seen that. I've definitely seen yellow, definitely seen like a white or orange, but never a red undertone for a setting powder. And since Fenty hasn't come out with their own pressed foundations, I'm gonna be using the Shiseido. This is a Synchro Skin in, four, Synchro Skin in 450, and that is only because Fenty doesn't have one. All right. So now I'm gonna pick up the very first Fenty Beauty palette. This is the Moroccan Spice. I never ever picked it up because the colors never really appealed to me, but it was on sale and so like, I don't know if this is limited edition, so I didn't want it to be taken off the market and I never had it, right? That's just my thing with like collecting makeup. I have to have, have, to have it. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a really everyday uh, shade. So the first shade that I'm gonna pick up, uh, I don't know, come and get it, I think. Like the colors are listed on here, but I don't know for exactly which one. And this is just like um, a very red brown shade, really perfect for the transition. That's really pretty. That's like the perfect transition shade. And we're gonna bring that a little bit past the brow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up, I wanna say Spice Trip, just to deepen it up a little bit. Oh, that looks perfect. Loving it. So yeah, um, it's just, I feel like everybody should be banding together to really make a change for everyone, um, including the more recent victims. We definitely aren't going to forget them. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Amar, Aubrey, for sure, because like literally could have been me in any one of those cases. I am from Minnesota. I know of the systemic racism in Minnesota, so that's another reason why I'm so pissed. So pissed. Do you know what systemic, systemic racism isn't? Oh, it just means like, you know, denying black people loans or not allowing them to live in Eden Prairie or looking them up and down when they're at the Burnsville Mall, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that is very apparent in Minnesota and it was very hard for me to advance with my family as a black woman in Minnesota. Um, I was in a domestic relationship and, a, and an abusive relationship, if y'all didn't know. Uh, I can go further into detail at a later time, but just know that the laws were different for the, my fa kid's father than me, because I was black and he was white. So, you know, a lot of the times he never even got taken to jail or nothing was taken seriously because he was white and I was black. And that was in Minnesota, Minneapolis Police Department. That was the first like negative encounter I ever experienced with the Minneapolis Police Department. I knew something was off with them one time when they were called because the man was just trying to out argue me and like he was spitting by my shoes just trying to get a reaction out of me I feel like so he could have done something to me. And me, I know how to remain cool. I had two fucking babies in the house. Like Minneapolis Police Department, something has to change. Something has to change. I was gonna, I was trying to make my way up to Minnesota to go protest not loot, not riot, not none of the stuff that these left groups are trying to perpetuate and really ruin because we're just standing for a cause and they're coming in with their off agendas and trying to make us look like we're thugs. When in reality, they're the thugs. We're just standing up for our rights again, again and again and again. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. We There was an entire civil rights movement. Why would it be something new? Something new needs to change. Something new needs to go into place. And honestly, actually, I'm gonna put this darker shade again in like the crease, because I just wanna see if I can build up a little bit more intensity, because I'm really liking how these are all looking. They look really pretty. And it's a little bit hard to blend with these lashes, though. 
I think I put the darker shade a little bit higher than I wanted to. Bear with me. It's definitely harder doing your uh, uh, makeup with lashes on already. All right, so, okay, so I have a color. Okay, so the shades, okay, I was right. So I used Cumin, Come and Get It for the first shade, Spice Trip for the second one. I deepened it up with Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy, get it? And then now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up, there's so many pretty colors, but I think I wanna pick up um, Mirage. It's like a very pretty rose gold shade. And I'm gonna pick up my Sigma, this is the E54 brush. And I'm gonna take this What It Do, and we're just gonna get it a little bit wet so we can get a soup, so we can get a super intense, I have to put it like so close, cause this is like a micro, a micro mist, I'm telling you. Uh, but it smells really good. So I got it on the brush. It's a really pretty rose gold. And upon impact, so pretty, wow. It's so pretty. That was just one swipe. It's gonna do that same color in the next. On the next eye. I, and again, I know this isn't a new palette, but I mean, it's new to me. It's my first time using it, and I like it. Like the metallic shades that show up like that without skipping or any fallout at all. They're so creamy. All right, and that's, I think that's what I'm, I'm done. I just wanted something like basic. <laughs> so now I'm gonna brush away the excess. And it baked really good. I never really like bake bake. And I don't know why I did today, it just happened. Sometimes it happens, I don't do it intentionally. I don't even know who I am, I've been looking like a complete bum for days. <laughs> I've been feeling like crap too, man. Yeah, like the emotional stress started really to take a toll on me, you know, so, me being from Minnesota, I felt the need to get to Minnesota to protest, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's my family, it's my brother, it's the black community, we're standing up for human rights again. And I was unable to get there, there was, the flights were so full, like the flights were so full, I ended up just going to Atlanta with my friend Kaylin, which was very needed. And now I'm picking up the, cause I'm black, Flyliner. So yeah, I went to Atlanta with my BFF, Kaylin, and it turned out to be what I really needed. I needed to get out there. I needed to talk to my bestie that I haven't seen in a while. I needed to get out there and protest. We went to protest in front of the governor's mansion in Georgia, and when we were there, we saw cops on their cell phones, like laughing and joking, looking at us up and down. They weren't abusing anyone at that point when we were there in the, the light, but there was so much militia protecting the governor's house and just kind of smirking at us and, you know, acting like where, why we were there was stupid. And then on the back end, when we were protesting, holding up our signs, coming together, they started ticketing our vehicles. So it's just like a ploy. It was just so dirty how it all went down. And it was unfortunate we couldn't stay as long as we wanted to because there was nowhere to park without getting multiple tickets. So we had to leave earlier than expected. But, you know, I have been donating and I will list all of the links uh, available to donate. Um, more in particular, I really, really feel that we have to keep Brianna Taylor's name alive. Her officers haven't even been arrested, and I just don't get why, as a black woman, why is the case not as high profile as Amar, Amar, as Mr. Aubrey or Mr. George Floyd? It's just, can we at least get the officers arrested and convicted? Why are her officers still running free? Malcolm X once said that the black woman is the most unprotected person in America, and it's just spanning out to be that. It just doesn't make sense. It really breaks my heart, and it's disheartening because... I am a black woman in America. If something were to happen to me, if something were to happen to me, or 
the officer is just going to go free. This is a very touchy subject. But seriously, if it were me, would I get the same energy? Are there going to be any laws passed? Are there going to be real change within the police department to stop abusing people and fucking killing people in cold blood and then walking away and, and forgetting about it like their lives didn't matter? Uh, and it's just another dead nigger. All right, so now I'm picking up my trusty and true Mocha Mommy bronzer by Fenty Beauty. Y'all know I love this. It's gonna go ahead and sculpt out my cheeks. So I'm really passionate on these issues because I am a black woman. I am raising mixed kids. My mother is a black woman. My little sister is a black woman. I feel like we have to have the same energy, keep that same energy for Brianna, man. So now I'm gonna pick up the cream blush and I finally got another shade guys. So this one is in daiquiri dip and this is like a red orange and I'm excited cause it's just scream summer, you know? It's so pretty. I knew it was gonna be pretty when I saw it in the picture and it's, I didn't even touch that. Like I tapped into it and it's just giving me the prettiest, prettiest orange so pretty. I'm so excited. I got this um, because I realized I didn't have like any orange blushes, right? Like I have a lighter orange one, but I was like, I need an orange one because I've been hearing like how beautiful it looks on brown skin. So I got it and I'm not disappointed. Now I'm going to go ahead and just chisel my contour just to define that a little bit more. All right, so for highlighter now, um, I just went ahead and lined my eyes with um, a nude liner, and um, I used the same colors on the bottom of my eye that I used at the top, just to buff that out a little bit. Now I'm picking up my Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. Now this is like a highlighting blush, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Moscow Mule. And just with the Highlight Brush 120, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. Now it just looks really pretty on the orange. All right, so we're all highlighted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. So I've been using the Fenty Beauty. This is the Espresso Matchstick. I've been using this for like four months as a lip liner. It's just the perfect color and it blends out so well. I love it so much. And since Fenty doesn't have like a lip liner, this just looks perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Unbutton, which is a really peachy lip color. And the Unbutton, these, these, what are they called? The Stunna lip paints aren't a lipstick. They're not a liquid lip matte. They're somewhere in the middle. And I really like them because they don't dry matte. So you have a little bit of blend room with them. I'm just gonna put a couple of dots in the middle. This is my first time trying this color. It's super peachy. Like peach galoa. Super peachy, wow. It's like the perfect peach. I like that. Like I, I could even wear it just like this. And I, did, I don't say that about a lot of things. Usually it's too matte so it looks like I've eaten powdered donut. But this, Mm hmm this is a look this is definitely a look I'm loving it I love it oh my god but y'all know me I'm gonna put a gloss over it anyways um, so I'm gonna use the glass slipper on button I'm gonna use the glass slipper 
gloss bomb, which is so, it just smells so good, it's so thick. It's my favorite clear gloss, my favorite one. So this is my perfect nude lip. I'm ashamed, I'm just now finding. The perfect, the perfect nude lip period, oh my god. Okay, so for the second to the last, so I got the mascara as well. Now I'd seen this in Sephora before it closed, and I don't know, it just didn't like jump out at me, but then I was just like, let me just go ahead and try it. Let me just try it, right? So I do have false lashes on the top, and this wand, you could either use it this side, otherwise you can turn it to the side and use it like that. So I think I'm gonna turn it to the side since I'm just hitting my bottom lashes. I'm finding it actually if I turn it to the side, the fatter side, it's easier to pick it up. Yeah, so you do it on the side. Or like when it's flat like that. This is how you do it and just brush down like that. And that really, really picks it up and really gives you a really volume, really, really full look. Look at my bottom lashes, wow. Okay, Fenty. Look at my bottom lashes, y'all. I love them. <laughs> Honestly, doing my makeup and like seeing the final result has actually kind of lifted my spirits. Talking about the crap that I've been seeing and you know just what I'm feeling makes me feel a little bit better but it's also a little scary because you know no matter what I say I'm going to be judged no matter what because whatever I feel someone else in the world feels the exact opposite so it's nerve-wracking but like I feel like I had to do it at least talk about it it's like therapy right wait so I'm not done yet so next I'm going to highlight my body and I'm using the body lava by Fenty Beauty and this is in, this is in brown sugar, and y'all, this smells so good. I want kind of a lot, because I have a tube top on, and I'm just trying to be glistening, you know? I'm just gonna take one of the brushes that I already used and buff this out. Mmm, it smells so good. You see how pretty that buffs out? Just look at that, it's so pretty. Everyone needs this. Get the little fat part of my arm. Okay, so after I do that, then I go ahead and take the cognac candy. The cognac candy. And I just pick this up. And this is the diamond bomb. And I just really like to intensify the sparkle and glitter with this. Mixing these two together just gives you the ultimate glow, I'm telling you. And now I'm gonna set my face with this. Alright guys, so this was my small rant. I'm pretty sure it was sporadic and I cut a lot of parts out because I feel like I was rambling. Even though I, I wrote things down, sometimes emotions can overtake you and that's kind of what happened to me here. I just want to end it in these points. It's very important to know that if you do not stand for something, you fall for anything, right? Sign the petition, share the post, Lend an ear to someone. Listen to people before f jumping to conclusions. Um, be more empathetic, right? Uh, this is a human rights issue. I try not to base it so much on black and white, even if it is the deep, deep root of it. Just try to understand where somebody else is coming from, okay? And treat others as you would want to be treated. Like, if somebody came up and ran into your house, would you want someone just to overlook it or side-eye it? Or would you want people to take action would you want the entire world marching? Would you want people to stand by you? That's what it's about. You know what I mean? And growing up in Minnesota, seeing everything that happened really actually for once in a very long time has made me proud to be in Minnesota. Because 
I read this quote, it said, uh, Minnesota is gangster enough to tear all this shit down and nice enough to build it up the next day, which is what happened. I saw so many of my friends come together. Rachel Buns and Guns, uh, she's a personal trainer. I know her personally. She came together and donated so much, uh, giving back to the community, being there. And you know, if you guys are looking for a personal trainer online or in Minnesota, I will link her information below. But she really, really came through for the city. So many people bonded together, and I think that that is beautiful. It's bittersweet as to why they're bonding, but the fact that it has happened is beautiful, and I really would like to see more of it. Everyone in Vegas, everyone who has reached out to me, shared my work, you know, just coming together as a community, shining light on black creators, because I really don't think that we still get enough shine. There's certain to token people that are always used, and the other ones, you know, they're just overlooked. I could do this, 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 and that, and I'm still going to be overlooked just because I'm black. And it's a sad reality that I live in, and I just really would like to see affirmative change, like, immediately. <laughs> so, if you have gotten to this end of this video, and you have dealt with me jumping from subject to subject, thank you for watching and listening to me. I'm not trying to be a garbage pail. I just wanted to express how I was feeling and come on here and talk to y'all. I hope you like this look. Everything is Fenty Beauty. Everything will be linked below. Black Owned Company. Um, thank you for watching, you guys. I'm going to continue sharing, you know, updates and stuff on my Instagram. It's very important that you follow me on my other social media networks because YouTube really is the one that is my baby and I love you guys so much. But this one is the one that is not updated the most. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and stay connected with me. But let me know how you guys are feeling. How are you coping? What are some things that you're using to cope?